All right, we're taking that live view from Bryce Canyon, where you can't even see that gorgeous red rock because of the wildfire smoke. Now, this is not a surprise. We've got three big fires burning in the southern half of the state, but that wildfire smoke has made it to northern Utah. Live view from Utah Lake. This is the Linden Beach area where people have been on the beach, but you can't really make out the Lake Mountains. It's not just hot out there. It's also hazy, and it's going to stay that way as we head into tonight. Unhealthy air for sensitive groups in Utah County and Tooele County. That's due to an increase in particulate matter. Moderate air for the rest of northern and northeastern Utah. Down south, it's ozone, which is not a surprise. We've got this heat, this unfiltered sunshine, and that really enhances the chemical reaction that creates ozone. So it's not PMs in the south. It's still ozone as of right now. But air quality compromised. So this is one of the reasons, on top of the heat, that you want to limit your time outdoors. As we look at our future smoke here, you're going to see that smoke along the Wasatch Front. We put this into motion, and we see where we go for the rest of the evening and into tomorrow morning. The thickest plumes as winds die down, hit Kanab and then head towards St. George. Third night in a row, we're seeing that thick smoke over I-15 from Beaver County all the way to the southwestern corner of the state while the haze lingers in different parts of northern Utah, including the West Desert. Our red flag warning in effect and extended through tomorrow at 9 p.m. Critical fire conditions. You know crews are working hard and they're working in tough conditions. Monster ridge of high pressure now getting ready to target northern Utah. It has been centered up sizzling southern Utah for days. And look at all those heat alerts throughout the west. We're part of that. Temperatures right now, 98 in Salt Lake. We've hit 100 in Wendover, 101 in Green River, 104 in Lake Powell, and 110 in St. George. A lot of 90s. We're above average today. And then we're off to the races tomorrow. As we look at temperatures for the next several hours, 90s turning into 80s with clear conditions and dry conditions. Dry is something we'll continue to see. Taking a look at St. George, where they're sitting at 110 degrees. 110 or above for the last three days in a row. Looking at temperatures for the next several hours, you see that even by ABC 4 News at 10, the century mark expected in southern Utah. It's why that excessive heat warning is in effect right now for lower Washington County and Glen Canyon. We step back, you see West Utah, the Wasatch Front, all the way to the San Pete and Severe Valleys, up towards Cache Valley. Excessive heat warning starting at 9 a.m. Wednesday. It's here. We've talked about it building. It's arrived. We're going to see this watch evolve and become a warning. There's that high pressure. It's got clockwise flow around it. It's ushering in the heat. It brings subsidence, so sinking air, which allows for clear skies. It's on the move, but it's a slow mover. Look at how we flirt with records, either tying them or breaking them in Salt Lake the next several days. Thursday through Saturday gives us the best chance to tie those records or possibly break them. 107 is the hottest it's ever been in Salt Lake. This area of high pressure is a slow mover, and it moves for the next several days. Here it is into Thursday, inching closer into the Beehive State. It centers up on Friday, peak heating for the north. We see that clockwise flow ushering in more moisture, cloud cover around the ridge, which will open the door for a tad bit of moisture and the chance of some storms. As we head into Sunday, you see that low off the Pacific Northwest Coast that could be working in tandem with our southerly flow. Triple digits tomorrow, 104 in Moab, 114 in St. George. It'll be our fifth triple digit day in in Salt Lake City of the Year. As we look at the St. George 7 day, you see that peak heating on Thursday for Washington County. You notice some temperatures easing and the chance of storms by the latter half of the weekend and into next week. The Wasatch Front is intense. We get hot and we could tie the all-time record Saturday. Let's see what the cloud cover and moisture does for us. We cool to 100 on Monday and I never thought I would say that. I don't really work in Arizona, <laughs> but here we are and we're talking about cooling down to 100 early next week. Oh man, warm temperatures ahead. Well,